Hi, Brad, Technology Product Specialist here at Kinsey, and today we're gonna go through a true depth display overview. Let's get started. As we look at our true depth display, we start at the plant screen. At the very top, we have three options of bar graphs and information. The first one is our percent ground contact, so how much of the row unit is in contact with the ground. We have applied force, which is how much force is applied or taken off of the row unit with our 150 pounds of uplift. And then of course we have sensed force, which is the measured force from our load link. So we can just tap on those and have three different bars of information. We have our average percent ground contact here for planter wide. We have a high row and low row gauge wheel load. We have a system status indicator at the bottom. Our first one is for hydraulic pressure. So it's green, meaning our hydraulics are on. The second icon, which is grayed out currently, is our tractor speed. And as you start driving, the system becomes enabled and the icon goes green. If we stop, it goes gray, the system goes disabled. And then you have two implement switch indicators letting you know that both implement switches are signaling the planter is down. In the lower right hand side, we have our settings box. In our automatic mode, again, for single row by row hydraulic downforce control, we have a custom mode, a low mode, medium mode, and high mode. The nice part about the system is there's explanations built into the display so you never have to remember how much weight is for each level. And we can find that by going into the actions tab. We can see in the lower right, we have picking a setting. In the picking the setting dialog box, it gives you an explanation of what is my downforce settings. You can always reference what setting or pounds are under each one of these levels. The manual mode, another option on that screen is basically allowing you to manually set the force. This is manual mode, which is really referencing a similar situation if you had standard down pressure springs or pneumatic downforce, you're setting a specific downforce level and it's going to stay at that set level all the time and ignore any of the sense force or load links information. If we press our exit, go back to our plant, we're back to our screen so you can see the three levels. You can see our automatic we talked about and by simply tapping on a different level we'll change those values. Manual mode, which we talked about again, we press on that. It's a manual setting so we're just manually setting one set down force level. To go back to automatic we simply tap on it. It just alerts you that you are changing it. The custom mode, which we talked about earlier, is setting a desired gauge wheel load independent or different than the presets that we talked about earlier for low, medium, and high. Quick layout of the settings page, general display information on our true depth display. If you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. If you'd like to see more Kinsey videos, click subscribe, click the alerts tab, and you'll be the first one to know when new videos are available. Thanks for watching.